Last week I had someone online try to scam me. He was impersonating my friend on Facebook and he wanted me to send someone $500 to claim some big reward from the government. Well, I was a little suspicious, but I played along anyway and I pulled a little trick on him which traced his IP address to Nigeria. And at that point I said, hey, I'll send you the money if you do something for me. And he asked, what? And then I told him the truth. I said that I had a YouTube channel and I wanted more subscribers. And if he would go out into the street in Nigeria and hold up a sign that said subscribe to Pleasant Green on YouTube, I'd send him the money. But he wouldn't do it. In fact, he ignored me. So I was like, okay, I'll find someone else in Nigeria who wants the job. And so I launched a contest open to anyone in Nigeria or surrounding countries to send me a picture of them holding a sign that said subscribe to Pleasant Green on YouTube. I promised $25 to whoever took the top 10 best pictures and $200 to whoever took the best picture. And Nigeria, you guys came through. I got a ton of photos, almost too many to go through. And some were obviously fake. Some were actually graffiti, which I really can't support or endorse, but A for effort. And then many were just people in their homes holding up a piece of paper. So I figured I needed to judge based on the original request, which was actually making a real sign and going out on a street. And I then went to Walmart to go get some gift cards. And there's actually a warning sign telling you not to send gift cards to people claiming to be government agents. So yes, apparently people do fall for this scam. And so then I went and I activated all these gift cards and I have those gift cards with me right here. So without further ado, Let's go through the top 10 best pictures. And please do stick around for the ending because I have a special treat to share with all of you. In 10th place, we have Ibabuchi in Nigeria. He made a yellow sign to help the message really stand out and he went right into traffic. So great job, Ibabuchi, $25 coming your way. Ibabuchi also has a YouTube channel that I will link to down below. In ninth place, we have Lady Heiwai on Instagram who took a great picture. And just look at the depth of field here. The sign is in focus, it's clearly visible. I love good photography, so great job, lady. You win a $25 gift card. In eighth place, we have Michael in Nigeria who recruited his younger brothers to stand in the road outside of his house. We now have three signs to really grab attention. Great job, you guys. You get a $25 Walmart gift card for Christmas. And for those of you who are saying, why are you sending Walmart gift cards to Nigeria? They don't have Walmarts in Nigeria. Right, but they do have people who can exchange it for Bitcoin, and then you can exchange the Bitcoin for Naira. Gift cards are like the currency of scammers because they're so easily untraceable. So now you know. In seventh place, we have Julius in Kwara State, Nigeria, out waving his sign on the side of the road. It's a great sign with some smiley faces and he's being responsible in the midst of a global pandemic by wearing a mask. So congrats to you, Julius. Enjoy your gift card and thanks for playing. Number six, we have Ferdinand in Nigeria who got together with his buddies, made a pretty pink sign and went out onto the side of a busy road to spread the good word. I love the photography, it's well lit. I love the pink. You guys did a great job. Have a gift card on me. Number five, we have Abdullahi from Nigeria. He's a web designer who got help from some young boys who spend their days selling in the marketplace just to feed themselves. And they're so cute and they did a great job. I love how one of them is sharing an anti-scam message. These guys are learning to work with their hands instead of scamming. Abdullahi, you win a gift card and I hope that you share it with these kiddos and thank them for their awesome work. In fourth place, we have Daniel from Lagos and he took a great picture. It looks like he went out and recruited a model and she is just rocking the pleasant green sign. This thing belongs on a magazine, I tell ya. Great job, Daniel. I hope that you enjoy your gift card. In third place, we have George who got a whole group together and made some big ol' signs encouraging people to subscribe to Pleasant Green. I love the color coordination. I also love the say no to scam message that they're promoting. It's a great photo, fantastic work. I hope that you guys enjoy your reward. In second place, we have Junior in Nigeria, and it wasn't good enough to just stand in the street and wave a sign, so he went on a rooftop to proclaim the glad tidings. This is really stepping it up a notch, and it puts him in second place. Great job, Junior. I hope that you enjoy your gift card. And now, for the moment that you've all been waiting for, the winner of the first place prize. 
The $200 award goes to Gift from Abuja, Nigeria. He and his friend Joel put in the time to actually design a sign on their computer and then print it out. Then they took it down to a busy marketplace and hung it up for all to see. But wait, that wasn't good enough. So they took it to the third floor of the building. But wait, that wasn't good enough. So they took it down to the busiest place in the city and they hung it over an overpass for thousands of Nigerians to see. So yeah, this wasn't even close. They're clearly the winners. And when I reached out to them and I told them that they were the winners of $200, they did something that really surprised me. They didn't spend the money on themselves. They did something better. And they thought of others. So they went and they spent the money on food items such as indomie noodles, spaghetti, and rice. And they made 100 individual bags, enough to provide a full meal for an entire family. They then traveled to a small village nearby where some of Nigeria's poorest live. There's no electricity, there's little opportunity for work, and there would have been no Christmas. But these guys took their winning money and they surprised 100 families with materials for a Christmas meal. Well, as you can see, there's a lot of great people in the world, especially in Nigeria. They're talented, they're creative, and they're generous. Don't let the scammers give the rest of these heroes a bad name. I'm going to put the information for some of these guys in the description of this video, and I would encourage you to reach out and connect with them if you're ever in need of their services. And I want to thank each of you who watched this video and who have supported this channel this year. I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas and look for the good in the world. More exciting videos coming your way very soon, so be sure to do as my friends in Nigeria say, and subscribe to Pleasant Green.